Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X! Last time, we died! Again! Man, Titus, you keep on washing up in the worst places. How many times are you going to wash ashore in this game anyway? How many Thank times you. do you think you can survive that? Whoa! Nuts. Blitzball. Football. What's a football? Hey, you okay? Yeah. Football. No, no, no. Hey! Uh, I mean, uh, soccer ball. Whoa. How'd you do that? Whoa. He could control the ball with his mind. Now, that guy looks rather creepy. I'm going to stay away from him. I think we should go over here first and grab some treasure. Like this one. If you don't get it now, well, you can get it later. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but we get a moon crest. That's part of unlocking one of the ultimate weapons in the game. There's going to be a whole bunch of different crests. There's also these other items called sigils that you have to pair with the crest in order to un fully unlock the ultimate weapons. Well, we'll go over that when we get to that. For now, not a big deal. Just pick it up as long as we're here. Also get some antidotes, because eh, they could be useful. Poison in this game is actually remotely useful for a change. Wait, maybe not on our end, but on their end, at least, they can damage us with it. You might want to get rid of that status pretty fast. Took them ten games to do it, but it's finally here. Yo. I guess poison could have been useful in Final Fantasy VII when you're like maybe fighting the Midgar Zalem or something. Try that move one more time. Finally. Yeah, I know the lip syncing and all that stuff. Blah blah blah. Whatever. Of all the things that, I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of this game in the world, but of all the things to complain about, that's not one of the things that I'm worried about. <laughs> I don't care about lip syncing. I mean. Yeah, okay, they could have done better with that, but... You know, amateur, who you play for? <laughs> the Xanarkin Apes. Uh, that's not one of the things that I'm really worried about. I, As far as how much I enjoy a game, lip-syncing is here? not one of those things uh, that I really care about. I meant, forget that. Uh, I got too uh, close to sin, and my head's all foggy-like. I mean, if they get so, it right, uh, great. I don't know where this place is. Or even where I came from. But if they screw up lip syncing. Since and got to you, but you're still alive. Praise be to heaven. Yeah, it doesn't really bother me if it, if the lips aren't synced right with the words. I, I just don't really care about All that. All right, back to practice. So. I'm Waka, coach and captain of the Besaid Oryx, brother. You can tell because of my enormous cowlick. What? You hungry? Okay, back to the village. I get you something. That is what that thing is in his hair, right? Or what, whatever that's called. I'm not a barber. I don't know the technical terms for all these things. But anyway, let's talk to these guys. I guess they're playing volleyball or something. But anyway, if you talk to this guy, you get some items. These guys are all going to give us items. You got to talk to them a couple times. So like two or three times for them to give you the items here. Uh, as far as talking to NPCs go in this game in general, I'm I'm only going to pretty much talk to the ones who either say something really interesting, which wouldn't be most of them in my opinion, or if they give me an item. So, but yeah, I'm I'm not going to talk to every single NPC in this game just because hey, this is a 3D game and 3D games take forever to talk to every single person. So. Not to mention, I just don't really care for them. And it, it doesn't really take away from the game. It just it doesn't... I don't really care for a lot of the backstory or stuff. I mean, if there's someone in particular you want me to talk to, let me know. But, uh... Yeah, I felt like part, I could trust this yeah. Waka. So, I just had to ask. Um, it's true Xanarkin was destroyed, right? A thousand years ago? Did so I get sent a thousand a big years? pile of rubble now. Isn't it? Did I get sense a thousand years Long further time in time? Ago, there were a whole lot of cities in Spira, 
big cities with machina, machines to run them. People played all day and let the machina do the work. Good idea. Then, well, take a look. Sin came and destroyed the machina cities. Nuts. And Xanar came along with him. Yeah, that was about a thousand years ago. Just like you said. How do you even know you that? you ask me, sin's our punishment for letting things get out of hand. What things? What gets me, though, is we gotta suffer because of what some goofballs did way back when. What did they do? Of we must always repent for our sins. That's important. It's just I thought that there's only one sin. It's hard to keep at it sometimes, you know? It was just as Riku said. Hmm. Waka and Riku couldn't both be lying. Why would they? No, of course <laughs> not. Now you're just talking crazy. But you from the Xanarkand Daves, that was a good one, huh? Hey, I'm not saying that team never existed, yeah? <laughs> but you gotta figure, a team living in luxury like that be pretty soft, eh? I appreciate the right. fact that Waka was trying to cheer me up. But at that time, By making all I fun could of think you? about was everything that happened to me. All this started with Sin. Maybe if I could find Sin one more time, I could go home. For now, I'd just live life until that time came. No more worrying about where or when I was. Sure, it was hard not to think of home, but I started to feel better already. A little better, maybe. Well, I guess you take what you can get, but I don't know. Call me crazy, but I don't think Waka's the best person to rely on to cheer you up when you're feeling down. <laughs> hey, it's this uh, way. You know the line, viewers. You know the line. But anyway, we got more party members with Waka. He uses the Blitzball as his weapon. Now, I know what you're thinking, viewers. H.C. Bailey, if Titus is such a good Blitzball player, why isn't he the one who uses a Blitzball as a weapon? Well, here's how I look at it. Waka is basically pretty much incompetent in using any other form What's of weapon. Big idea? So he pretty much has no choice but to use whatever he's got. Titus actually has some amount of skill, so he can afford to actually use something other than a ball as a weapon. That's how I look at it. But if you go over here, yeah, got treasure underwater. So there's three chests like this, at least to, m to my knowledge anyway. So we'll see what we can get. By the way, when you're swinging around here, you'll m run into those piranhas again. So make sure to use cheer five times and have Titus kill them, so that way you can overkill them, get more AP, as well as... Uh, what is it? Oh yeah, get more ability spheres from these guys, especially if you're playing the PS2 version. Now, when I say the PS2 version, I'm speaking of either the original Japanese PS2 version or the United States PS2 version, not the European one. Uh, I failed to realize or remember that the uh, European version is the international version where that's not a problem with the ability spheres. So when I say the PS2 version, as far as European ver viewers are concerned, don't worry about it. But yeah, um, well, I suppose you could look it up on the, uh, on the sphere grid there. Uh, there's an ability called Extract... I think it's extractability. I think. Well, whatever it is. It lets you get more ability spheres from enemies. So, unlike the original version of the game, you're not totally hosed if you get screwed out of the ability huh. spheres. Whoa! Let me go! How did you laugh underwater I'm like that? Ask you. you want me on your team, right? Kinda sounded like a sexual predator mm -hmm. there. Anyway. A major blitz tournament's coming up. All the teams in Spira will be there. All it's five so of them. Huge. I'm sure someone there will recognize you. Then you can go back to your old team, right? It'll be fun. What do you say, huh? Come on, come on. Kind of desperate. Sure thing. Sure thing. I'm so excited. I'm elated. Ooh, our team is gonna rock, eh? Hooray for Hollywood. I mean, uh... 
Why are you swinging down? I thought then that Blitzball and Sin were the only two things that Spira and Xanarkin had in common. Yeah, pretty much. I wasn't too far off either. Ah, wow. Okay. Well, if you have all this knowledge of this advanced technology and everything, Titus, why not use it? Make a gun. This is where I was born. I started Blitz when I was five. I joined the Aurochs at 13, 10 years ago. 10 years, and we never won a game. You well, suck! After last year's tournament, I quit. Time seemed right. Well, yeah, after 10 years. Holy cow. So, how do we get to the village from here? So, after quitting, I got this new job, yeah? But every time my mind wandered, I thought about the game. Ten years without a single win will do that. Yeah. Hmm. My first match last year was my big chance. But something else was on my mind. I couldn't focus. Nice excuse. Hey, hey. You could just say that you're incompetent. So, you want to win the next tournament? Go out with a bang. Even though you have no so, skill? So, what's our goal? I don't care how we do. As long as we play our best. Well, then what's the point of playing? If we give it our all, I can walk away happy. Doesn't sound like uh, the best no, plan. No, 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 no. If I say what's our goal, you say victory. You play when to you play win the game. game. You play to win. Yeah. Victory. You're serious? Have you seen our roster, Titus? I, I, I don't think you have. You, it, you, you might want to take a look at that before you... Uh, Put all your eggs in one basket like that. <laughs> uh, actually, I can win the first game pretty ah, easily. But. The one from the well, you'll see. Be on guard. There are fiends on the road today. Really? After surviving your run-in with Sin, it would be a shame if something happened now. I haven't seen any. Who are they? Luzu and Gata, Crusaders. Ah. Huh? Cruise of what? What? <laughs> you forgot that too? Hey, sorry. Don't worry about it. I'll help you out. Cool. In return, come tournament time, I'll make sure we take the cup. What, one player? About the Crusaders? You're not a one-man team. Yourself. They got a lodge in a village. What are you going to do if they double or triple team you, Titus? I mean... Oh, right. All right, so we made it to our first town in the game. First real town, actually. They got shops and everything. So I'm not going to talk to all the NPCs. Just enough to get a basic idea really. of the story. They got any food there? No, no. Over there later. Uh, or, Take a look yeah. around first. Let's see. Where's the restaurant the here? The Crusaders Lodge is over yonder. Luzu and Gata are usually there. Right. Hmm? Over here. Huh? What's up? You do remember the prayer, right? The prayer? Uh, I don't know. I didn't know it in the first place, to tell the truth. I mean, I pray all the time. Man, that's but... like the basics of the basics. All right, I'll show you. You play Magic the Gathering for ten years like me. You, uh, you learn to believe in the power of prayer. And you become very superstitious. One or the other. Wait, you try. Hmm. Hmm. Sadly, it doesn't work for me in Hearthstone. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, that was the thing they were doing earlier in the game. Huh. Hey, not bad. That's weird. Nah, I'm sure it's just okay, a coincidence. Okay, now, go present yourself to the Temple Summoner. Any Sounds like a plan. I'll present my assets. I mean, uh, blitz my, my, sign for myself. Victory. Okay, first things first, let's grab some treasure. Yeah, I hope you don't, guys don't mind. I just saw this lying around here. I just want to quickly go in here, grab a treasure, get out. This will be real quick, viewers, so watch out for it on the right side. 
And there's a little book back there, the second Albed Primer. So there's 26 of them, one for each letter of the alphabet. So let's grab that one. And then if you go, let's see, down into the left around here, if I can. There we are. Yeah. I kind of hide this on you, but you can kind of see a, l a little path on the map. It's kind of hard to tell, but you can see there's something going on over there. So it's not completely hidden from you. But yeah, we'll just grab all that stuff and let's go present myself to the summoner. Why not? was then standing in that place. Someone turn on the lights here? I began to realize how different this world was from my own. Well, you both get attacked by sin. Well, this time, not much happened. Well, let's go take a look around. There's a room to the left and to the right, but uh, just some NPCs there. Nothing, no items, or nothing extraordinary there. At least as far as I can tell. Ten years have passed since Lord Braska became High Summoner. And finally, we receive a statue for our temple. Oh, well, what's a High Summoner? Uh, I I got too close to Sin's uh, toxin. Oh, okay, that's okay. You can be a blasphemer then. We don't mind. It was funny hearing myself make the same excuse over and over. Funny, and a little sad. You are. The summoners are practitioners of a sacred art, sworn to protect the people of Yevon. Only a chosen few become summoners, who call forth entities of great power, the Aeons. Ah. The Aeons hear our prayers and come down to us. They are the blessing of Yevon. So what he meant... ...was that we should respect some kind of great men, or something like that, I figured. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I guess I can't present myself to the summoner, so I'm out of here. We'll worry about the rest later. Well, maybe we can get some food back at the lodge there, or something like Waka was telling us. I don't know. Might as well head on over there. I figured I'd head on over there last, so that way I can save. I'll go for a little extra length on today's episode, since it's... I don't have any battles or anything. It's story time today. Hey, you. You were attacked by Sin, right? Recently, was it? I think so. That's how I got you. So, Sin can't be far, right? You're not oh. hiding anything, are you? Why would I? You're not working with Sin's her, are you? Sin's nearby. It'll attack the island for sure. But it hasn't. I wonder why. I'm sorry. I really don't know anything. To tell the truth, I uh, don't even know what the Crusaders are. You're kidding, right? Sin, the toxin. You gotta tell him who we are. Yes, sir. The Crusaders are sworn to battle Sin. We have chapters throughout Spira, accepting all who wish to join our struggle. The hero Meehan formed the Crusaders 800 years ago as the Crimson Blades. Later, our ranks grew and we called ourselves the Crusaders. We've been fighting sin ever since. What? You've been fighting 800 years and you still haven't beat it? You guys uh, suck. Well, we've steered sin away from towns many times. And that's all we can do. Nobody's ever been able to defeat it. Yeah. Our mission as Crusaders is to protect the temples, towns, villages, and people of Spira. So, then whose job is it to defeat sin? Is Sin's toxin really this bad, sir? It does seem rather bad. 
We could just tell you, but I think but we're going to leave you in suspense. Memory. Go pray at the temple. Perhaps Yevon will help you regain your memory. Gee, thanks a lot, guys. Let me guess, it's my job to defeat Sin. No. No. Well, maybe. I don't know. But they don't even know who I am. Oh, well. Well, let's go visit Waka and see if he can help us get into seeing that summoner or whoever. Maybe he's got some food ready for us by now. I hope so. Yeah, this is Waka's house. The other two houses, eh, nothing really interesting there. Well, there's an item shop in one, but that's Sorry, on the man. left. No time for lunch yet. Take a yeah, nap. it sounds like a good no, idea. Push. I think I'll take a nap. Until next time! And let's play Final Fantasy X! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!